The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky. Tell us about the characters that surround Vinny, which is, of course, you. Tell us where Vinny and, and uh, Joe Gilgan begin and uh, join and, and separate. I would say that me, me and Vinny, are ver- uh, we're very, very similar and the lines get very blurred for me. I, like, I, I, uh, I suppose Vinny's probably a bit of a cooler version than me. He shoulders his problems a lot better than I do. Um, we had to make it. We had to make a cooler version. No one had actually been interested in me. He's, he's, he's a bipolar <laughs> career criminal. Yeah. Career criminal. Yeah. Uh, lovable, likable, uh, forgivable. Long suffering. I'd Long say. Long suffering. Yeah. Um, it does things like steals cars to order, then when the car turns out to be the wrong car, returns the car... You have to unsteal it, yeah. To un- to unsteals the car and fills mm. it with petrol and leaves a note on the windscreen saying, sorry, I've refilled it with petrol, do apologise. However, the roadkill is still attached to the front. You have a, a, quite a warped moral code as a, as a career criminal. And the one thing, I, I mean, I wasn't great with numbers. I'm, like, dyslexic. I, I, you know, I'd, I'd often be in the wrong... See now, I'm I'm venturing down that road. I said I won't go. Down. Yeah, no, don't go down. <laughs> I'm doing okay. it. And you're not extolling the virtues of breaking the law, uh, but you're saying that that is some people's lives. It's based on it's on it's based on very loose truths. A lot of the stories. Right. So when did like, you start writing then? Well, you know, I, I'm dyslexic. You know, I had these these ideas, and I used to I was hanging out with Don West during the filming of Pride. And Dom said, you know, you've got to do some of these stories. I'll put you in touch with David Livingston, who was the producer of Pride at the time. And uh, so I sat down with him, told him a few stories. He said, you need to get something on page. So I wrote this terrible hybrid book. But what I was doing is I was teaching myself these stories. I was teaching myself the overall, the overall arc, creating this world. So that by the time I met Danny Brocklehurst, our fantastic writer, all I'd have to do is talk to him. What about Dylan? He's kind of no excuse to be doing what he's doing. I think the reason he does it is because he quite likes it in the self-destruct with Vinny. He's codependent with Vinny. Absolutely he is. Yeah. What we like to do on the show and what we feel is important is each stage you just let go of what you've done. So I come up with the story, I give it to Danny, I let go of it. Danny writes the, the script, we get on set, he lets go of yeah. that too. I, I hire the so. right people, let them loose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have the intelligence to understand that actually they know what they're doing better than you do and let them get on with the job, yeah. Was there a moment when you... You put it away, you came back and you watched the finished product that, that, that you and I watched. You watched it last night, I watched it last Friday. And did you just think, OK, this is just brilliant? Well, I'm very proud of it because, I mean, you know, getting it on the TV at all. And, and you know, I honestly believed I was really stu- I couldn't read, I couldn't write. I, I truly thought I was stupid for years. And it's the first time I've not felt like an imposter. I've, I've re- you know, I've really had to dig deep. And, and we've all of us worked really hard. And it and it's honest, it's as honest as we can possibly make it without us getting in, into some serious trouble. <laughs> like, we really have tried. So we've called our town Hawley. So I'm hoping the people of Chorley do see similarities, you know. Uh, and they're proud of it. I think, you know, the, the, uh, the, it's, like I said earlier on, it's the, it's the people that make Chorley, the characters there. And I, I hope to God they enjoy Where's it. Where's the yeah. Sirocco? The Sirocco? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. It's the car that oh. you're driving it. Oh, is it? I thought it sounded quite middle class, no, the Sirocco. The... I thought it was wine. No, Sirocco's like <laughs> um, classic, classic, you know, Hot Wheels. If we get a, a new season, would you would you be in it? Do I do anything you want? I'd really, I really, I've got an idea. I've got this idea that I, I kind of kept me up last night. Um, I've had like three hours. It blood bipolar for the love of God. Like, I've been up all night thinking about it. I've got, I've had this great idea. And, and I, w- will you be involved? Yeah, of course I will. Now, I, here's, uh, Joe, you're a genius. Thank you Congratulations. so much. Congratulations. Well done. I'm, I'm we really humbled by it. It's very, 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 so very funny. And I've got, like, I've got, I've watched episode one. I've got five treats to come. They're brilliant. Honestly, Danny is fantastic. Do you know what I did also last night? I watched episode one again. Did you? Did you try? And it, oh, God, yeah, man. and it's so. It's it, 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 so, awful it, it, so. What do you do for the rest of the day, my friend? I've got to go and do a photo shoot now. Do a lot of smouldering. Um, give, honestly, give us a smoulder. Go on, I'll do it right now. Go, he's very good at this. Specs off. Very good. Oh, I like. That. Yeah, it's very All good. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah, depth. It's good, that. Yeah. It's got mild depth. pout. A mild pout. It's got depth. Mm. Yeah. Do you know I mean? It, yeah. It's, it, it's verging on a scowl, which is the best form of smolder. Where are we going to see that, that smolder? What, what magazine want you Do you know what? I don't know because I don't listen to anything. GQ front cover. <laughs> yeah. No question Men's about health. it. Men's health. You'll be, you'll be man of the year next year. You'll win Men's all those health. blooming awards. We'll be sick of the sight of him. We never want to hear from him again. His name was, was Joe Gilgan. He was on the show once. Ta-da. <laughs> Thanks ever so much, guys. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.